In this video, I'm going to share with you guys exactly how to find the perfect name for your salon. Finding a salon name is no easy task. You want to come up with something clever, memorable. Finding that perfect name will ensure you start your business journey on the right foot. That can be the springboard to your success. Names have the potential to make or break a business. So make sure to watch till the end to give yourself the best chance at coming up with the perfect name. We will have a look at how to determine your unique branding position, then have a look at the best way to brainstorm ideas and then select the perfect name from a list. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking this video to see more. So about six years ago, I opened my first salon. In fact, I was sitting in the same position as you are most likely now, wondering what a good name for a salon would be. If you have commitment issues like me, you'll realize it's a pretty big decision to make. It's kind of like getting a tattoo. It's probably gonna be stuck on you for life. Well, maybe not so much anymore with laser tattoo removal, but you get the idea. Your name isn't something you want to change, especially when you've invested time and money into building your brand. The truth is names have power and can communicate your business's services and values. Strong names can affect your customer's perception of your business in a big way. Before we can start brainstorming cool ideas and words, we first need to be crystal clear on what makes your salon your salon. We need to know your branding position. So start off by asking yourself questions like, what services or treatments do you offer? Who are your ideal customers gonna be? Um, what makes my salon unique and different to others? A good name should reflect the clientele coming to your business. So for example, if you're a vibrant young salon, then your name should reflect that or vice versa. If your clientele is more mature, then a more traditional safe name could apply. You don't need to overthink this, rather keep it simple and straightforward. An example of my salon's brand positioning would be an urban beauty salon located in an upmarket suburb specializing in high-end laser and skin treatments. In addition to treatments, we sell quality skincare, retail products in-store as well as online. Having this statement for your salon first will help you a lot when brainstorming catchy titles. Once you've figured that out, it's time to begin actually brainstorming. So grab that pen and paper and start jotting down ideas. Start writing down a few keywords that describe your salon and services. So if you do hair, you could write down words like cut, color, trim, or curl. Or if you're a beauty salon, you could write down skin, soft, youthful, radiant. You can then use this paper to refer back to, to see what can slot in where and keep keywords top of mind. Once you have those words to play around with and have gotten the ideas flowing, the next thing is to consider is rhymes. Rhyming can make your brand more memorable and stand out in your client's mind. Examples of this would be hair affair or hair flare salon or style aisle. You can use a rhyming tool online to come up with rhymes like the website Rhyme Zone. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. Next is to try use any specialties that you may have in the name itself so my salon we specialize in laser services and because of this the word laser is used within the name glow laser and beauty this lets my clients know straight away what i specialize in in my salon's name puns are another great method used to create fun and memorable names it breaks the ice and can immediately make clients get a feel for your salon Example of, uh, examples of this would be names like Living the Highlights or Beauty and the Bush. You could also consider using your name in your salon's name. This makes it like hyper personal and as long as you're the only salon in the area with that exact name, people shouldn't confuse you with a competitor. Maybe you get lucky with your name and you can mix in some of the techniques that I had mentioned earlier in the name using perhaps rhymes or puns to give it that little bit extra. The only downside is if you name the salon after yourself. You're locking yourself into possible problems if you want to sell it in the future. I would, however, avoid using initials when naming your salon, as it can be boring to people and can be easily forgotten. You should now have a couple of names that you think could work for your business. Next comes evaluating your salon's name ideas and then selecting your perfect name. 
Grab the list of names you've made and go over each of them, keeping the following questions in mind as you run through them. Firstly, does it communicate your product or services clearly? Sometimes we can overthink things and be a bit too clever to a point that our customers aren't quite sure what we offer. An example of this would be calling it a hair salon, rock, paper, scissors. Clever, but is it effective? Next, is it easy to pronounce? The easier it is to pronounce, the easier it is will be for your clients to refer you to friends. Easy to pronounce names are also easier to remember. Is it easy to spell? Pretty self-explanatory, but names that are easy to spell will be a whole lot more accurate when it comes to your clients searching for you in Google or other directories. Shorter names also tend to be easier to search for. Is it expandable? Can your business grow and add new services while still falling under the same name you've given it? Or if you change or open in new locations? Is it unique? Is the name unique enough to stand out from other competitors? A unique name will also stand out more than a plain generic name that could easily be forgotten. Does it have any negative meaning? Take the time to do research a bit and make sure. What you might find funny doesn't mean that your clients will too, especially if you plan to open up in foreign markets. An example of this would be the name Curl Up and Die. Lastly, check if the domain name for your website will be available. It may have already been taken by someone else as that would be problematic for you creating your website. Also check for social media profiles because you wouldn't want to confuse your clients again. You should now have a solid name to go with. However, suppose you are not sure. In that case, you could always try ask a family member or friends for their opinion. But take that with a pinch of salt because you are the one that needs to be happy with it in the end of the day. You'll have to make several important decisions when choosing a salon name and it should take a bit of effort. Don't just go with the first name you like. Test several ideas to find what works for you and what's best for you. Don't forget to do your market research and think about names that will inspire your customers. Let me know in the comments what names you've come up with I'd like to hear. A good salon name will become synonymous with your brand and image so make sure you feel proud of it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.